This week on the Weekend Homestead, working on the outhouse, trying to get it ready. Hopefully gonna paint it here. Uh, we're getting close, but gotta get some stuff done. Gotta get the inside caulked and gotta get the uh, seat all put together. So that's what we're gonna work on today. So let's check it out. Alrighty, we are back at the outhouse. We're gonna get this thing up and running. Today I gotta put the splash guard in, do all the caulking. We'll get the seat mounted in there, get all the wiring finished up, and uh, basically we'll be ready to go. Nice thing is having this up and operational, I can start working on decommissioning the old one and getting it out of here. So, got a lot of stuff to do today, but thought I'd bring you along for a quick morning journey. The kids and everybody are still sleeping. It's about seven in the morning here on the weekend homestead. So, nice Sunday morning. Let's get the outhouse up and running. So in a previous video, you guys saw me get this thing set up and installed. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a splash guard on the front here, and I gotta do the caulking around the inside and outside of this vessel. Then we can get the seat actually mounted. I'm gonna screw it down, and there's a couple spots underneath where I can hit through and uh, screw it into it. So what we're gonna do is go through and mount this and get that caulking done. So let's get the caulk and all that, and we'll do that first. Before we get any work done, a little bit of sunscreen. Trust me, kids, a little sunscreen every day will keep you looking young. I don't look a day over 35. The attractive supply shot. Here's all our stuff. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna caulk along this edge around the inside and then do the same thing around the outside so there's no chances of leaks. Down in here is where all of the uh, electrical stuff is for this. There'll be a little battery and the lights and everything. Nice thing is we will have lights out in the outhouse. It's looking pretty, pretty darn messy and good today. The funny thing is, is when you spray your hair with the uh, spray thing it makes it look like you got gray highlights. So I'm sporting the silver fox today, I guess Just for men. She'll love the way you look. All right. Well, let's get caulking Now one thing you're probably wondering is why didn't we do this when we installed the seat? It was 45 degrees outside when I installed the seat and you need it warm in order for the caulk to really cure correctly So I didn't want to do it until I knew that it was gonna be a warm day out right now It's about 60 degrees outside I know it's going to get up into the 70s, maybe 80s today, so, you know, I thought it'd be a good day to do this. Now, this doesn't have to look pretty. It just has to be functional. All right, now we just got to let this dry. Now that that's done, let's make the splash guard and we can get that ready to go, and then we'll get this all attached, and we're almost done. It's not uh, much left to do. So I had this aluminum sheeting left from projects down below I think this will work perfect I know there's a lot of people out there who do construction projects and stuff like that and you just throw out all the scraps afterwards on a property like this having a little piece like this little piece of metal here I don't have to go to the store and buy it it just came from another project or another part of the project that I kept and you know this will work perfect for me you know it's it's just a splash guard for the inside of this but you know Instead of throwing that roll away, I was able to save it and little pieces like this get cut off of it. So it worked out good. All right, so we're gonna just pre-drill four holes across the top here. There we go. Now what I'm gonna do is when we put it in, I'm gonna put these sheet metal screws in and screw it in and then I'm gonna put a little bit of silicone caulk right over the top. All righty, now it's time for the splash guard here. Okay, now that I got this on here, you can kind of see what'll happen is any material will hit and go right down in. Shouldn't be an issue, but just kind of a little extra protection. I'm gonna back these screws out and put a little bit of silicone right along the top edge here. All right, 
Now I just gotta put the seat on and it's gonna be ready to go. I will probably take a bucket of sawdust and dump it down on the bottom there just to kind of give it a landing spot to kind of get the whole thing started and everything like that. But this tank, you know, for as much as we use it, even if we had high amounts of usage, probably can go five or 10 years before I actually need to have it serviced and pumped. And then the pump company just comes along, takes everything out of there and away we go. This is gonna be Cameron's outhouse at some point in time and maybe Cameron's Cameron's uh, kids uh, outhouse it's, uh, based on how we built it. But I'm gonna get the last of it put in here and everything else, but I appreciate you guys coming along on this adventure, just getting the outhouse ready to go. Next time you see me, I'll be working on painting this thing. That'll be the next project is paint this thing up and get it all ready to go. But until then, this has been the Weekend Homestead, living a simple life one week at a time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.